So the description, it's not a review, it's a review. I was going to say, say. That doesn't make sense, no, does it? No, no. 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 Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Ian J. Cole and Hi, this is I'm Jane. And this is another one of our Edinburgh Fringe 2019 post Edinburgh <laughs> reviews. Now the reason we're doing this is because the show that we've just been to see this evening first appeared at Edinburgh Fringe Festival 2018 and was there again this year, but we clearly missed it. And this show is in loyal company. So I'm just going to read the description from the Edinburgh Fringe website and it said uh, after a total sellout Edinburgh Fringe run in 2018 uh, In Loyal Company returns to the venue twice the size in 2019 this incredible true story of missing World War II soldier Arthur Robinson written and performed by his great nephew David William Bryan uh, is a tour de force war epic not to be missed and then we've got a whole load of four and five star reviews. Um, what did you think, Jen? Oh, fantastic. Um, yeah, I mean, tour de force is, is a description that you would use. Again, um, the most fantastic, brilliant one man yeah. show um, that we've been very, well, privileged to see, I think. I mean, I liked the just before we arrived, when we were first arrived in the foyer, was his dad, who was uh, had a, a large poster of uh, Arthur. Uh, no, not a poster, a photograph. It was a big framed photograph, uh, and his. I mean, his dad was amazing, really, because he was yeah. clearly um, there supporting his son, and his dad lives in Hull. And he was saying that when, when David's up here, he stays with them and his dad just drives him around from show to show. Um, uh, so, so that was quite a nice mm. little bit just mm. before we went into it, really. Mm. Uh, and it was a very sparse stage. Basically, it was a, a bare stage apart from one trunk. Actually, what's interesting, I know I'm sort of getting slightly ahead of us, mm -hmm. but they have just produced this um, book of the play. And... Um, David had said that he'd written a few notes because he's actually got the script, um, which is great because you can, you know, reread it again. So notes on the text. This is a play for one actor who must play all the parts. Pauses and beats are indicated by the space given between the lines. Unless otherwise stated, Arthur is addressing the audience. The play should be, be performed in an empty space. The only set and props used in the original production were a trunk with a few costumes inside and a loaf of bread. Oh yes, the loaf of bread. Yeah, yeah. And it was really quite um, nice because yeah, um, you know, the opening sequence is yeah. him running with this loaf of bread, which I think yeah. was, it was steal, but, he wants to and he was borrowing. Yeah. And he hands it to a lady in the audience, which was quite, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's, quite it's, something really. It's you know. a lovely piece to have. Um, it just so happens that it's you know we're coming up to the 11th of the 11th yes um today is the 8th so no, today's the 8th of november, november 2019 so it's quite poignant to have gone to see something like this mm. um which the final scene is him standing to attention and the last post is played yeah, I don't, um, don't, I don't, I no, want no, to, I don't want to give the ending away. No, but, no, but, I'm just but, saying yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, I'm not that's giving fine. anything yeah, out. No, All I'm saying not, is actually, he's yeah. standing. Yeah. Um, and that really, you know. It was very, gosh. it was very moving, really. Yeah. Uh, but it's, you know, I mean, and obviously it is dealing with the the horrors of war. But actually there is, there is humour in it, especially in the first 
first first quarter of the play, I would say. The play is, is not isn't particularly long. I mean, at Edinburgh, it probably did run for about an hour. It was an hour and, about an hour and twenty minutes, would you mm. say? So it, it was. I don't think yeah. it's been shortened any from Edinburgh, and certainly, um, you know, there was quite a few laughs in the first part. Mm. Uh, wasn't it? Well, it's you know it's a piece that David has written about his great uncle, um, and his father. We heard, and in fact, he did say mm. to us as we mm. went in that everything that happens did happen. It was true. It's all true. It's, it's all true. Um, so you've got. Um, it's slightly confusing because um, Arthur is his real name, but he was actually always known as Joe. Joe. So we'll refer to him as Arthur, but he's yeah. Arthur stroke Joe. Um, so you've got, before he signed up, um, detail of, of what happened after he signed up, then obviously um, the the horror of war, what, what he ends up doing, um, and then afterwards. And he, he, doesn't, he doesn't shy sure, no, away. He doesn't. Um, from any of that so you you I mean you get a real sense yeah and it's an incredible physical performance yeah. uh, I mean he, yeah. he at first he's got I, I, you don't realize it but he's got like three layers of clothing on so he and he just he, he's sweating and it's he, he's getting hotter and hotter as he, as he goes on but it's just incredibly physical um, I mean the, the, the there is the, the moment where you know when we know that he's missing because it tells us in the description that he's missing and Arthur's mum is writing to everybody from Churchill to the King to try and find out where Arthur is. But obviously she's writing as looking for Joe, which is a, not not his his given name. Everybody else everybody else in the world knows him as Arthur, but she's writing to to Winston Churchill trying to find mm -hmm. Joe, which was it was a quite a funny little moment really, you know. And also, um I think a mention should go, as in fact David himself yeah, did, did at the yeah. end of the performance, yeah. to, um, ooh, I think it was John. John, John was the yes. lighting yeah. and sound John. guy. Um, so he was doing the incredibly effective lighting spots and music mm. and cues which added to the performance. Um, there's one superb moment where he's um, underwater and I can't tell you mm how effective with just the colour of the light and sound and, and sound yeah yeah and even though it's a blank stage bar one um case um what do i want to say um trunk trunk so there's nothing else on stage it's just black and for that moment you think he is underwater yeah you do it's yeah. incredibly effective yeah. and yeah excellent um, really, really adds to the performance. There is a little 45 uh, second promo that David had done for the Edinburgh show and we'll put that in right now. So, I hope you found that useful. Um, anything else, yeah. Jen? Um, he, it is touring. Oh, yes, it so is touring. I've got the, I've got the date. Uh, um, now, it's touring until the, until the middle of next year. Uh, and it will be back at Edinburgh in 2020. So, it's touring. Um, I mean, its well, next performance is the 9th of November in Sheffield. Then it moves on to Taymouth. Um... Borden, where's Borden? Phoenix Theatre Arts, Borden. Don't know where that is. Don't know. Uh, then in January, it's Chipping Norton, uh, Worthing, Bury St Edmunds. Uh, there may be other performances in. I'll put them all in the links down yeah. below. Um, yes, because actually in here, so it's in Loyal Company uh, for upcoming 
tour dates, it's um, visit davidwilliambryan.com. So and again, I'll put that, in, put the, that in. in the yep. notes down below. Um, and definitely an actor to watch. Yes, I mean, he, 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 he normally performs with another play. What was the other play called? Cause, uh, I've forgotten. You've forgotten. Anyway, he normally performs these two back to back, and he did in Edinburgh, apparently, where... I mean, we've just said this is an incredible physical performance, and then he'd have a, a I think he said a 20 minute break, and then he'd do the next play. Um, so we, we want to see his other play, uh, and I'm certainly, we'll, we'll look, we're gonna look out for him uh, at Edinburgh 2020, and we'll definitely go and see him there. Um, yeah. So he's definitely an actor to, to look out for. His dad was saying he may be writing something else for Edinburgh next year, which would be quite interesting, but certainly, in loyal company will be there and in traditional uh, Edinburgh style we should give it some stars <laughs> how many stars I've forgotten Jim? about the stars yeah five I think I give it five as well so it's five stars anything else Nope. thanks so much for watching uh, we'll see you in another video it might not be till Edinburgh next year um, there'll be other videos on the channel uh, please watch them if you wish uh, and subscribe and all that usual sort of stuff. Thanks very much. See you again. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.